Well, hello there. Welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to use Milk to download files with a speed of light or something like it. Right, so this is part one of our tutorial. And we uh, have uh, downloaded the software from uh, www.mirc.com. At least I have, and I hope you have uh, done it too. And uh, be before we can start actually downloading files, we have to first change some settings. So let's go for it. First of all, open the software and uh, ignore the uh, usual notice that you have to uh, buy the software, which is a, tr uh, a free trial. You know, just click continue, and you will get to this window. And um, right, we have to change a few options here. So just click on this little box, little icon here, to get to the options menu. And uh, let's start configuring the thing to get ready to download. So first of all, we have this uh, connect tab, and here we just enter a username like the Load Guru. That's me. By the way, uh, right, and that's all we have to enter here. And then we go to the RSC, uh, IRC tab, and here. Check this option, rejoin channel when kicked, and also enable the rejoin channels on connect box. This will help you if you get uh, disconnected for some reason, uh, the uh, software will automatically reconnect for you, right? Next one, go to sounds. You don't have to do it, but uh, really recommend it because it makes things a lot more relaxed and less annoying. Disable sounds. Why is that? Well, Merck loves to make very annoying beeping sounds every time something happens on the channel, on the server, or anywhere on the whole network, apparently. It drives you nuts after a few minutes. Disable this. Do it. I'm not joking. Okay. So, next one is uh, DCC. And here, you have to send the on send request option. Click on auto get file to automatically get or automatically download any file that a bot is offering you. If you don't do this, you get a little uh, message popping up like, do you want to download this file? And uh, then you have about two minutes or something to accept or deny the download. Obviously, if you want to request a file and maybe the bot sends it to a cry and it takes a few uh, minutes to download to start, you don't want to be uh, forced to stay in front of your screen all the time and she bought things to yours get done for that you just sh should uh, select auto get file and if you try that make us going to warn you that if you uh, just automatically accept any, any download uh, people could uh, send you files that you haven't requested and that could just like fuck up your computer well very easy, just be careful what you open and uh, don't open anything that you didn't request before. Should be fairly easy. So just say yes. If file exists. Now, what if uh, a download is interrupted and you want to resume it? Well, you could configure Merc to ask you every time if it should overwrite the file or do whatever, right, not what we want, we want to make it very easy for us, very convenient, so we just uh, select resume, and so we will not have to, I don't know, care about any of this, just going to work. As soon as a file gets sent to you, it will be downloaded without any hassle. Awesome. Next thing is options, and here disable anything. That sounds again 
just disable the sounds, disable motors with beep, so that you have peace and quiet. Folders. This uh, configures where Mac will save the file that you download, and you can also set up some filters, like for example TXT or doc or uh, like uh, movie files or something like that. Uh, just use an asterisk before we dot, and now it will uh, save every file that ends with the MOV to this folder or any folder that you would like. Well, or you could just leave it at default, doesn't matter. But it could be, uh, make things more convenient for you. Next one is ignore. Very important. You absolutely have to disable this. If you don't, you won't receive any files. Select disable. And very important, don't forget this, also disable turn ignore back on N. Uncheck it. If you don't, after three minutes, Mac is going to uh, overwrite your settings and just reactivate disable, uh, I mean uh, ignore again. So uh, it will reset it to accept only, and we don't want that at all. So uncheck this box. And that's about it. Now we could just click OK. And we have saved our settings. Boom, voila. That's all. Now you're ready to download files from uh, the RSC network. So we will see each other in the next video on how to download. Bye bye.